Welcome to Acre, Akko, Accra, whatever you will call it, it's the same place. Israel is important because of the location. We are a bridge between Africa, Asia, and Europe. Then if he wanted to conquer the world, he had to start from Israel, and then the Middle East of today, and then the rest of the ancient world. That's why Napoleon tried to conquer um, uh, Akko, he didn't succeed. That's why the, the um, Crusaders, when they came to here in the 12th and the 13th century, they knew that without Jerusalem and the Holy Land and Israel, they cannot control the world. Then when they came to Israel, first they went to Jerusalem because it's more important than Akko. And then five years later, they conquer Akko because Akko, it's the connection, marine connection between Europe and, uh, and Israel. Then in that case, they build the castle right here, and we are in the Hospitalar Castle, and we will talk about who were the Hospitalar, hospitalar later on. And, but I want to show you something. Until the 80s, you couldn't see a lot of it. What you saw and what I saw as a child when my father brought me to here is the upper part of uh, the castle and a little bit from the lower part, from the crusader part. Why the Arab part is, was built on top of it and not instead of it? When Al Jazar actually asked himself, what should I do? Should I destroy the remains of uh, the crusader part or should I cover it with sand? A lot of sand and then I build my building above it, he chose to do the second part. The second one because it's cheaper and faster. Then in that case, he cover all the Crusade city that we are going to visit today. And he built his palace, his fortress above it. Look at the small stones. Can you see it? Alright, then it's a little bit difficult now, but if if we come here, you can see the Crusader stones those lower stones. Can you see it there? You see the difference between big stones built by the Crusaders and the small stones built by the Muslims who came later on. I'm talking about 18th century and here I'm talking about 12th and 13th century. Yeah, huge, huge gap. But to show you that huge gap, I want you to look at those pictures. We will start from the upper one. Soon, not in that video, in the next video, you will see that part, or you will have to imagine that that used to be a prison by the Ottomans, the Turks of today, and by the British who came to here. The, the prisoners used to walk a yard, but we wanted to see what is beneath it. Then we destroyed that yard. Today you can visit it, it's a beautiful museum, but that yard is gone. Then we excavated, excavated, what we did is we took all the sands that the Muslim uh, government actually put inside to cover everything. And then we reach to the desert. This is the ground of the yard of the Hospitalar Crusader Fortress. And if you go to that model, to that model. What I want you to see is that thought. When the hospital came to Israel, actually not only them, every crusader, everyone who conquered Israel, and remember it's a bridge, then oh, it will be difficult to find someone who didn't try to conquer Israel. Then what he built is a fortress. It's called Castro. Four walls, lots of rooms in the walls, and the yard is in the middle, and I don't know if you can see here, that part, there's always, always must be a place for water. Without water, you cannot succeed. Then they build that fortress for themselves, but this is only a small part of Acre. A really, really tiny part of Acre. There are so many other things to see. Then what we're gonna do next in our next videos, we're gonna visit some of those amazing rooms. Yeah. Just for the one who's controlling the camera, remember that I told you that to, to look for a mask. We saw a mask outside? Yes. 
then that mosque is above it. Here is the church. We're gonna visit the church soon, but I want you to understand that the mosque is above it. Then it's like layers and layers. When the Muslims build it, if it was a kind of a yard, they build a yard above it. Above the houses, they build houses. About churches, they build um, mosques. We are talking about Muslims. Then in that case, are you ready to continue with me? Please subscribe my channel and watch the other uh, videos of Acre. But I have almost 19,000 videos about Israel. Then are you ready to visit me in my channel? Then let's go to see the other. This is the Crusader courtyard, the hospital are. We actually talked about how they build that place. Then here it is. This is the second video. You can see it. I'm the only one, mainly because of coronavirus. That place was closed from September until yesterday. Then I'm not sure the Israelis actually knows about it and tourists are not allowed to be in Israel yet. Then the first thing that you need to do is to find a water source. Without water, you cannot survive. Here it is in front of you. That's the laundry area. And guys, the crusade did it by themselves. Man can do that. And that's the water source. Oh, I'm a little bit afraid. Here it is. Let, then let me remind you that. For a uh, courtyard, around it walls and rooms. At the edge of every wall, the meeting between the meeting point of those two walls, you will find a tower, a protecting tower, that will be a little bit out of the wall. Now, if you want to see how a room looks to be, look like, remember this is only one wall, for example, this is the northern part of the courtyard, and we're entering to the north hall of the night. Then, later on, we will visit it. But look at Peter, where it is. Amazing, isn't it? And there's ten like that. And we are the only one. Shame. Now, when we excavate here, we found those uh, stairs. Doesn't look like a regular stairs. Look at the size of it. Eight people could walk here, and two horses could climb up. Why? We didn't know it, and we tried to find a clue from uh, the night's uh, scripts, and we have a lot. We're still uh, reading it, still finding new things, but we didn't find um, the reason for those stairs, and we don't know a lot about the rooms themselves. Until we went back to the pilgrims who visit Israel. At that time, as you can see, this is from 1679. Cornelius actually drew it. Here it is. You can see that? You can see it? Yes, you can. And he wrote that the stairs took us to a wonderful and high building of the Crusaders' management. Then here it is. You can see that it's one, two, three, and four stories. We don't have anything from that, but now we know that if they build that huge building, then what about the base? I mean, it's heavy, although it's sandstone, which is quite light, I must say. We will enter to, the, to that room later on. It is, it's open. Look at that. This is the dining room, refectorium. But look at the size of those columns, pillars. Unbelievable, isn't it? Now you can understand that above it, above it, there's a building 
of the high commanders of the hospitalars four stories above that and every story is not like a regular story of your houses as you can see it's totally different but now you can understand how big it is we will go back to that room later on but I want to show you one more thing before we will continue to the other video above us remember when we reach that area I'm talking about the 90s everything was covered with sand above us remember the prisoner uh, courtyard until we will reach our place that's where the British uh, hang 12 of the Israelis who were against them and that was the first prison of the prophet of the Baha'is, Baha'u'llah. Just wait with me please and you will see it. Lettering hall, you know, you need to do that too. Well, that takes you to the 12th and 13th century. Here it is. You can see the toilet seats. But it wasn't like that. I mean, it's tough to sit like that. Look at that. Look at that. That used to cover it. People used to sit together. Here we're talking about only men. But, you know, whatever they did went down, and it's close to the sea, and there's so many tunnels here, and the water, as I believe, took it to the, back to the sea. Here, there was another lavatory, another toilet seat of the Crusader Knights. If you're talking about, let's say, every Crusader Knight had 10 people to serve him, from soldiers till servants, then you can understand it if we were... If there were 55 crusaders night here, then you can understand how many soldiers or servants actually been in that place. No women entered to that place, only men. Crusaders um, came for Jerusalem. The hospitalers was another order of the crusaders. They are, uh, they've been monks warriors and they took uh, took care of everyone who came to the Holy Land and one of the things that they built is an hospital which is here somewhere I think we know where it is but we cannot excavate it it's because it's beneath private houses and there were more than 2,000 seats in that hospital here you can see part of the courtyard of the prisoners but most of it is gone because you know when you are excavating you are destroying part of it. Then see you uh, in my next video. Remember, please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Bye. We were here in the courtyard. We talked about the meaning of the courtyard, of the hospital, of the crusaders that have been here the 12th and 13th century. We are now in Akko, Acre, uh, March 2021. 20, Corona is still with us. We talked about those stairs to the right and we realize that those stairs took eight soldiers or two horses all the way up to the management of the hospitalers. And that is the answer for that room, because that was the first floor of it. And why it's important? You will see it soon. Let's go in. Welcome to the dining room, to ref refectorium. Look at those columns, pillars. Huge, massive. Sorry about the noise. It's massive mainly because above it, there were another four floors of a building. And if I'm talking about floors, this is only one. It's not like in your house. We're talking about crusader laws, crusader stories. 
before we talk about how they ate here, what they ate here, I want you to understand that the, the Crusaders came to here in the 12th century, 13th century as well, um, and they knew how to build houses, to build castles, usually in a Romanesque uh, way, which is very massive. But here they took a little bit from the Muslim architecture, and what you can see is the, maybe the first Gothic building in the world. And it's in Akko, Israel. Yay! Um, in the nighttime, they used that place as kind of a bar for uh, wedding halls. And there are so many um, um, tables here. A lot of happiness. And the acoustic is amazing. But because of coronavirus, no one uses it anymore. What they ate? They ate everything because the hospitalers were crusaders, uh, warrior in a way, monks, and they took care of, of the pilgrims' needs. Then in that case, they had to eat. They ate wine every day, uh, except a few days, uh, two days, and they ate meat every day, uh, a lot of bread, a lot of vegetables, there's a lot around it, and you can see some of the dishes here. Here it is. Not bad, isn't it? And I wanted to see something, but I'm just waiting it to start again. And here it is. Someone is taking, uh, is being in charge. He took him to the court. You can see that he is hospitalary. You can see the cross, see the soul. He found guilty. Then he's giving back all the symbols of the, of the crusaders to the head of the um, hospitalers. And then the rest is going to eat. He's going to eat too, but he cannot go into the dining room. Now let's go with him. We are reaching the dining room. We cannot go in. We cannot enter. You can see the people are sitting next to the tables, big tables, and someone is bringing him the food. Um, and I'm always praying that he will eat immediately. Don't pray now. Don't pray now. The dogs will eat your food. Please don't pray. It doesn't, it doesn't help me. The only one who didn't sit at the table was the commander, the headquarter, I mean, commander of the hospital house. And uh, he sat on a chair. And this is the chairman, chairman of the hospital house. And here it is. Beautiful place, isn't it? From here, we can actually enter to places that already excavated, but I'm talking about only a few years ago. Are you ready for that? If you're ready for that, subscribe my channel and send it to everyone who loves uh, think some uh, movies about uh, um, information about the Holy Land and watch the next video on top of it right there you will see uh, the link for the rest of the videos see you in my next video bye I'm usually starting the tour of ancient acre the night's all in that room today I decided to end with it now, if you look at that room, you will see that it's beautiful, but there are no windows. The only air connection is above us. Then you cannot escape from here. And if you cannot escape from here, it might be a prison. Then, true or not, we don't know. But so many people believe that those holes were to hang the people, the prisoners here. I don't know if you saw movies, but you know, movies that love to laugh at the past. For example, Monty Python and Brian of Life. Then you can see the old man that looks that he's here in the prison, let's say, in the prison for like 20 years with long beard, usually naked. And he talks with a new prisoner. The 
always look at the bright time of life, side of life. Do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do. Then this is the end of my tour at the Night Hall. If you like it, subscribe my channel. No tourists in Israel now, then you are the only tourist. Do that. Thank you very much. See you in my next video. We just came out of the hospital fortress. The church was for the people, then the church was out of it. And we are entering to the crypt of the church. If you will break some of the walls here, we will reach uh, the facade of um, the mosque, which is just behind us. You can see the funeral, mainly because in the crypt, they used to bury people. Then two of the famous people were buried here. One of them was the Bishop of Nazareth. Now, what the Bishop of Nazareth is doing here, I mean, he's supposed to be in Nazareth or to be buried there. And uh, he was here mainly because Nazareth was already in the hands of the Muslims. He was buried in 1920, uh, sorry, 19, uh, 2090, a year before Akko was destroyed by the uh, Mamluks. And here you can see um, the tombstone of another important uh, um, play, uh, figure, the master of the hospitaller. And that's from 2042. We didn't find those tombstones here, but we believe that they were took from here or I don't know. Then you can see here a burial. can hear the drums and beautiful isn't it and just to show you where we are I'm taking you to watch for a short video then we will see it soon we are right here you see the arches and the church was built on top of it we know that there were three places here. The fortress that we already visit. Now we are visiting the church and the hospital with 2,000 beds. We didn't excavate it yet, mainly because it's part of uh, private hands. We cannot force them to do that. Beautiful. Then, crypt of the church from 13th century. We know that it was St. John Church because that was uh, the hospitaler main uh, hero. Remember, if you are a patron, if you are, if you've been Baptist, it means that you died and you were born again for Jesus. Then in that matter, that's what they did. People almost died and they almost resurrected them. They cured them. In that case, St. John is the patron of the hospitalers. If you like that video, you know what to do. Subscribe my channel and watch the other videos. I have more than or almost 19,000 videos. You can see the map. The Fortest Hospital, Exclesia. That's where we are now, church. And to the right, look like a football soccer stadium. That is the hospital. So see you in my next video. Bye bye. Uh, we just came out of the Crusader Fortress. This is the Crusader City, belongs to the hospitalers. But it's outside the fortress it's, it's, itself. Then, what you can see is the narrow streets and buildings to the right. I'm almost the only one here, mainly because no one is here. Coronavirus. Now, beneath us, there are so many tunnels, but there's no light now because it's closed. Endless tunnels to escape from uh, the enemies, um, sewage, and the rest. Uh, come, you must come to here uh, just after the corona. And uh, you will find so many beautiful things here. Yeah, it's 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 uh, the voiceover. It's not me. It's uh, part of it. It's, it's beautiful. You can hear the uh, you can hear uh, the crusaders here shop. It's kind of a market area. 
And I will ask uh, Shlomi, Shlomi, can you use your flashlight? Dad, what I want you to see is a graffiti from 13th uh, century. You can see some boats. Yeah, you can see it. Here it is. And I will ask, I mean, it's everywhere. If Shlomi will use the flashlight here, you can see the sun and horses and so many other things. Amazing. Then all their walls are covered with graffiti. People live here. Then graffiti for us, it's a pollution. But graffiti from 12th, 13th century, it's not a pollution. This is something to talk about. Uh, history matter. Then this is the street. It will lead us to the church which above it, as you know, it's already a mask. We saw the mask before we entered to the crusader. For the crusader part, we actually had to walk down a little bit and to other places in that area. And then if you like that video, I'm sure that you will like more of it. Um, look at that hole, for example, a beautiful hole. We don't know what it is. Uh, maybe the reception before you enter to the Crusader Fortress because not everyone could enter to it. Then, if you like it, uh, take a picture, uh, take a picture, uh, subscribe my channel, and watch more of the videos. I have around 19,000 videos of the Holy Land. Then, don't miss it. Thank you very much. See you in my next video. We are, uh, we are at the Yard of the hospital last night. Uh, we are heading to the tunnel. And here it is. Then on the way you will see a lot you will see a lot of hidden places, but in one room you will see how massive are the pillars. Because if you think that what you saw is massive, think again. The last are we waiting? No no no. No, 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 you're not waiting. <laughs> You're not going to go hide? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to hide, yes. <laughs> then, there are tunnels here, but you cannot go in. Wow. There are tunnels there, but you cannot go in. Hello. Hello. Yeah, look how massive are. In that room, I wanted to see how massive are the pillars to your right side, and I'm going to hide somewhere. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Amazing, isn't it? Where am I going to hide? Aha. Another pillar. Wait, wait, wait. Look how beautiful it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look for one of the exit of the tunnels, then I will be able to take a video of the family, and it will be right here. I'm hiding. And I will go through there. Hmm. All right, ready? Family, are you ready? Down the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Wow. Oh, this is T9 seat. Jeez. <laughs> All right, thank you. Oh! <laughs> Yay, I'm ready. <right> here. <laughs> yeah, watch your head. Yeah, watch your head, please. <laughs> oh, I found him. Ah. <laughs> oh, the, the crazy <laughs> man. <laughs> you, are you the last one? Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Well, let's continue. I don't know if Yeah, really. Okay. You win. 
Yeah, we have believed the whole city. We have believed the hospital are yeah. templates. <laughs> And which is actually beneath the Muslim city of today. No, I'm, to, I'm, to, I'm talking to the, to the movie. Yeah. Uh, we're not continuing. We're actually climbing up. And wait for me there, please. Now, they call it the crypt because we thought that that is the crypt of the church. Now we know that it's not. Oops. Almost. Almost. Yeah. <laughs> we are now in the market of uh, Akko, Acre. Uh, it's actually a, kind of an Arabic, beautiful Arabic market with a lot of fruit, vegetables. The only thing that uh, you cannot actually smell is the fish. And I hate fish, sorry. And uh, there's a lot of fish here and seafood. But it's uh, so beautiful as well. What important to understand, and I know that I'm not talking about the market because you know the market better than me. So many kinds of sweet herbs. You see that everything is in Arabic and in uh, Hebrew. Uh, there are no tourists now. Okay, I think you know what it is. There are no tourists now. Then. Uh, Then mostly, uh, I mean, the products are mostly for local people. What is important for us to understand is that at the Crusader time, I'm going back to the Crusader story, that was the main road. That was the Via Gary Street, uh, the way of the king. That took him, I uh, took the king from the church to the port, which was belong to him. Uh, when he started to Concord, look at beautiful, look at the colors. Um, when the king uh, wanted to Concord, uh, the place from the local Arabs here, uh, he had a problem because although he was crusader, he had no navy, and Akko it's a navy city. Then he had to ask help from other cities with a huge navy. One of them was Genoa from north of Italy. The other one was Venice. I'm sure that you know it. And even uh, Pisa. I'm sure that you remember the tower. Then everyone wanted a piece from the city. That to the right, that was the Genoa part. To the left of the road, the main road, the Aragis, that was the uh, Venice people, the Venetian. Oh. oh, everything is fresh from today. I'm so happy that we have the facial mask. I cannot even smell it. Then, they didn't like each other, because you know, everyone wanted the power for themselves. And they have a lot of fight between themselves. At the end, the Venetian actually kicked out the Genoa from uh, from uh, the city. But look how beautiful it is. Oh, I can smell the fish again. Excellent. Oh, well known. I'm not sure excellent, but well known. Uh, hummus restaurant, Said. I prefer the non touristic uh, restaurants. Just came for one. Then it is a little bit of the market and a lot. A little bit about the Crusader time. If you like that video, subscribe to my channel. And uh, oh, look at the kitten. And you will see more of the Holy Land. See you in my next video.
Ouch! That's it. Ako, Acre. Um, June 2020. Look at that, how that was. Latrine hole. You know, you need to do that too. But that takes you to the 12th and 13th century. Here it is. You can see the toilet seats. But it wasn't like that. I mean, it's tough to sit like that. Look at that. Look at that. That used to cover it. People used to sit together. Here we're talking about only men. But, you know, whatever they did went down. And it's close to the sea. And there's so many tunnels here. And the water, as I believe, took it to the, back to the sea. Here, there was another lavatory. Another toilet seat of the Crusader Knights. If you're talking about, let's say, every Crusader Knight had 10 people to serve him, from soldiers till servants, then you can understand it if we were, if there were 55 Crusaders Knights here, then you can understand how many soldiers or servants actually been in that place. No women entered to that place, only men. Crusaders, um, came for Jerusalem. The Hospitallers was another order of the Crusaders. They uh, they have been monks, warriors, and they took uh, took care of everyone who came to the Holy Land. And one of the things that they build is an hospital, which is here somewhere. I think we know where it is, but we cannot excavate it. It's because it's beneath private houses. And there were more than 2,000 seats in that hospital. Here you can see part of the courtyard of the prisoners. But most of it is gone. Because, you know, when you are excavating, you are destroying part of it. Then see you uh, in my next video. Remember? Please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Right. We are reaching the port of Akko. The port of Akko is a small port, but at the ancient time, it was the most important one. Um, it was important mainly because it was the entrance, the gate to the east and the gate to the west at the Crusader town. Then that place was belonging to the king, Baldwin the first one and the rest of the Crusader kings. It's called the Katana or Katena. See that tower there? There was kind of um, chair. iron chain that closed and opened the, the port. Today it's mostly touristic, but still beautiful. A lot of restaurants, as you can see. Gosh, it's hot here. It's uh, the beginning of uh, March. Quite hot. Then, as you already know in my previous videos, uh, the king owned that place, but behind it, to the right and to the left, so many different cities control that area. Genoa, Venice, and, uh, and Pisa. That was the capital in the, in the way of the Crusade at uh, the 13th century, not Jerusalem. Jerusalem was in the hands of uh, the Muslims. And that was the main entrance and the main exit, the main important export uh, place for, for the Crusaders. That's why the king didn't allow anyone to enjoy the profit of that, that port. Beautiful, isn't it? The bay is natural. I mean, it's a beautiful bay. That's why the, the port is uh, in a great location. I want you to see Haifa, which is in the other side of the bay. And the Mediterranean Sea. And you can hear him barking.
Look at that. Look how beautiful it is. As a child, I used to sit in that restaurant and feed the fish. Haifa, the other side of the bay. You can see the port of Haifa, you can see some ship. ship. Beautiful, isn't it? Port of Akko, the most important entrance to Israel for so many years.